Uh, okay, so we open up Twitter for people to ask you questions, their burning questions, so that uh, they feel like they are interacting with you. Uh, so I'm going to pick some of my favorite ones. By the way, do you fish? I fish. Okay, well, there you go. Well, the guys at 54 person... Golf who sent this, sent that question in knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, he goes, Carlos, which fish so far was the toughest and longest to reel in? Oh, I had, we had, honestly, last year, by the end of the year, and I think it was October, November, I went, we got the blue marlins, and it was, one of them was a huge one. Oh, and oh, it, wow. It took, it, it took some time to, to get it in, like two and a half hours, three hours, and... Holy shit. And, no. Yeah, yeah, no, they and take how forever. And, and how many of you? No, it was it was it was three of us on the boat, but I, I got one, and the other guys we had two of them. So, but it, it, that, <gasps> the marlin is the biggest mar the biggest fish I've caught. But it yes. Yeah, how, how many pounds? I mean, it probably was maybe four hundred pounds. Yeah, and they fight wow. like fucking crazy. Crazy, we jumped and everything. We lost yeah. one. We had it by the boat, and, and and we lost one. The other one, we we got it up, and and. I mean, we shared, we had fish to share with everybody. I mean, the people that were on the boat, like they were all happy because they bought food for all their families and everything. So it was awesome. Uh, that's that's cool. awesome. That is so cool. Um, is awesome. This person, uh, Roscoe Futch, I hope I said that right. Uh, he says, to, <laughs> <laughs> that's literally how it's spelled. Um, he says, to win a major from the fairway, what would be your choice of distance and club? Mm. I mean, you always want a wedge. I mean, a wedge would be awesome, but if, if it's an iron, probably 165, a nine iron, I would love to hit a nine iron close from 165. 165. Hmm. All right, let no, me see what else is here. Uh, I've made I've made a few holes in one in my in my extended life, um, and all have been with a six iron or a nine iron, and I've had equal amounts, six of each. All well, have been you, with you a six iron. Yeah. What? Yeah, well, no, really? I've played. I've, I've been around a while. Um, yeah, six of each, six with a six iron, six with a nine iron, and two of them on the same hole. No, with different that's, clubs. One with the six iron when I was eleven, my first hole in one, and one was a nine iron when I was in high school. Yeah, that is awesome. Uh, speaking of hole in ones, Carlos, how much you have like ten or something? No, you. Yeah, yes, ten. How about ten? I haven't made one in Dave. I want to make one in Dave. I haven't made one in Dave, but yeah, I have like like ten. Wow, Larry Cantor, that's... Larry Cantor, like heel shanked a shot and made a hole in one. Where was that at? Singapore last year? Hong Kong? Where was it? I Remember don't he know, let go but... of the? Oh, you, yeah, you don't see, you don't see the broadcast, but he hits yeah, I one. See, I think yeah. it was our fourth, third or fourth hole in one. Hits it, drops the club and disgusts it. And it goes I remember, I remember it was last, it was last year. I don't remember, but I remember seeing it. I think. Yeah. You got to Um. Now, this person, artist golfer John, uh, wrote, "What is the most." memorable childhood memory of growing up in mexico that brings you good vibes golf related or, or what kind of memory? no i just think memory. just like childhood memory. memory yeah yeah i honestly have a lot of memories playing at the beach with my family my cousins and stuff like that i love now that we're talking fishing that's the first thing that came up we used to have we still have the house by the beach where we used to go like we had like it was in a on the water and you could go fishing so we would go big fishing in the mornings and then in the afternoon go to like in the canals and fish and i mean i just when i was young I, that's the only thing i wanted to do just fish and, and go to that to the beach so is that like yeah, northwest that's... guadalajara or southeast that's in, that that is uh west southwest uh, it's in the pacific Ocean. We, yeah, we have, yeah, yeah oh oh yeah it's beautiful i mean we have yeah, yeah, that's gorgeous absolutely i feel like there's there. just so many parts of mexico i need to go and visit you know no the I, whole I, the whole entire country it is my favorite it is that if I retire, if I ever retire before I die, I'm going to be one of those American expats, and and Guadalajara <laughs> and uh, and Riviera Maya would be the first two places I look. Oh, I thought is... it was Mayacoba. I thought Mayacoba. Well, would be where Mayacoba's you were on going. Riviera Maya. Yeah, it's Maya, Riviera Maya. Oh, okay. Honestly, Mexico, if we take out the the some of the violence that you have that happens, it's you. I mean, you have everything. You have mountains. You have beach. You have you have anything you want. Uh, it's just sometimes you have that you know that sad part that is just the violence that happens and sometimes it makes you know like i because i, I am the same way i i my my dream is just to go back to mexico and retire and be there and then when they have a lot of land and maybe be in the mountains or something like that but you always have a little bit of risk or insecurity that you know you somebody might want that 
the wrong, the wrong person might want that and then you know it's not the yeah. same yeah and man is the food good god oh my god it's a great country in, in a lot of different ways Hey, uh, Carlos, before we let you go, a couple of questions. There's one that's really important that I really wanted to ask you, because obviously this year, uh, great win, right, at, at, in, in Oman at the International Series. I think it was your uh, first win after your last one, which was 2021, and that was on the PGA Tour. Uh, now, I know what our, our reactions were. I, in fact, I think Dom had a great line uh, when you won the International Series in Oman, and he goes, I don't think there's 1,200 players in the world better than him or something like that. Uh, I can't remember what Dom said it was, but it was, I know what our reactions were when we saw that your OWGR um, world rankings went up by like a thousand places or something ridiculous like that. I mean, what were yeah. your reactions when you found out that your OWGR went up a thousand points? I mean, honestly, it is a joke. Did but... you care? Honestly, I mean, at this point, uh, I mean, I care because of the only reason I care is because of the Olympics. We went to the Olympics, but and obviously the majors and stuff. But it is a joke. I mean, to this point, um, what is happening? Things like that. I think we're all grown ups, and 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 I mean, it is sad. You know, at the end, at the end of the day, if you want to have accurate rankings, you have to do something about it. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, but uh, the majors and, and literally you want the Olympics and the, the Olympics are not going to, the IOC is never going to respond quickly. Um, but I know a lot of the different uh, countries, their federations have asked if they can select their two golfers to represent them in the Olympics. And, and eventually it'll get to that point. Um, and the majors operate independently. And, and thankfully the PGA of America has been the first adult in that room um, in what they did with the PGA championship and also what they did with the senior PGA championship I know. when they allowed, when they allowed Blandy <laughs> to defer when, cause he couldn't play last year. So they allowed him to defer as a 51 year old to play this year. And I, I know you had more questions to ask. I know we got to wrap up cause we've taken way too much of his time. What did you think of what you saw out of Blandy this weekend? I mean, I love that guy for me. Uh, it's not that for me, it's not that impressive when you just see Blandy. But then you remember he's 52 years old, and I'm like, oh my god! I mean, that guy is as good as he gets. I mean, I'm 52 years old. I'm 51, like, I think. Eh? 51. I think it's 51. Yeah. 51. It's one or two. Have you seen him? He grinds. He's there. He's. I mean, he. For me, that I love Blandy. I have so much respect for him and and what he's doing, and and I'm so happy he won. And and you know, obviously, I've. I've talked to him a lot because we had our brothers and I met his brother and we shared experiences and everything. He He's an unbelievable guy. He deserves it. And, and I mean, if I can just be half as good when at his age, I'll be happy. But it is impressive. You know how I said it, it really not. You think, oh, Blandy, not, you know, see his results and he's like, oh, great play. He's playing awesome, great player. But then, no, he's 51. Yeah, then he's he's beating all these young guys at 51. And grinding and probably working harder than most. I mean that that for me is impressive, and I mean I'm so happy for him. I think we all. I think I don't think there was somebody that was not happy for him. It, it is impressive to see somebody that works the hard and, and still getting the success at that age. I mean it's it's awesome. So cool. And he's also I'm sorry, such Suzanne. a great guy. He's such a great he's, guy. No, no, no. That yes, was a great question. No, no. Um, no. All right, Carlos. We're gonna we're gonna wrap it up with one final question. Um, what do you want your legacy to be? Oh, fucking great question. Jesus Christ, that's good. Honestly, I mean, for me, it's more beyond golf. I want to just be able to help the people around me. Anybody that needs help, I want to be able to help that and help them in, in a way I can. And for me, that's it can be through golf, it can be through life, it can be through anything. For me, it's just I want... My legacy to be that if if anybody had anything I could help with, I, I wanted to be there for them. And that's just not the people I know, but anybody. And I, I feel like I'm that kind of person that if somebody asks for help, I will give it to them no matter what. And, and you know, I, I just feel that we, we need, like talking about Grayson and, and stuff like that, I think there's a lot of people that need help out there and sometimes they don't ask for help. So, you know, I just want them, yeah, I just want to know that if anybody needs help someday, I, I'm there for them, you know, and for me, that's important because I think we all need people that, that are there for us.